My name is John Rimmer and I work for UK Trade and Investment. I'm here to talk about the uh, online form for the Queen's Award for International Trade. I have a printed copy here, but I must remind you that the best way to do this, in fact the only way to do this, is to fill the form in online. The crux of the application really starts around about question 11. That really asks you to distinguish the difference between your domestic strategy and your international strategy. Most companies trade in the United Kingdom on the good reputation that they've built up over many, many years. Word of mouth is the single most influential marketing tool a company can have. However, when you go into a new market, be it Germany, be it Brazil, be it South Africa, be it wherever, very often you've never been heard of. So an entirely new skill set is required to break into, new, into a new market. The judging panel wants to show how you overcame those, the challenges in those markets and presented yourself anew in a way that perhaps was different to the way that you do that in the United Kingdom. And specifically they ask for examples of what you did in South Africa, what you did in Germany, what you did in North America, to take that good reputation that you have here in the UK and to duplicate it in those various markets. Okay, question 12. Indicate the geographical spread of your overseas markets. This is important. There is great differences within the European Union between, say, France or Germany or Denmark, and each one of them presents unique challenges. But they are nothing compared to the difference between Germany, say, and Brazil, or South Africa, or South Korea, or North Vietnam. The judging panel wants to know how you overcame those differences. In question 12.2, state the percentage of total overseas sales. It's important for the judging panel to understand that perhaps your largest single market may well be Germany or France. They want to know the geographical spread and which of the countries are more important than others. Question 13. Give details of any special factors affecting the trade in your goods and services and how you overcame them. Again, this is a significant question. The committee wants to know um, that there was not smooth sailing in these in markets. You overcame obstacles. They may well have been regulatory or they may well have been to do with currency fluctuations. They might be to do with local competition. They might well be to do with the fact that the market was mature. Perhaps there was a, a, a dominant overseas supplier you were successful in those markets, so you had to overcome certain problems. The committee wants to know how you did that. What I would suggest is that when you fill your application form in, you submit it to a third party, someone who's not, who knows very little about your company. If they understand it, if they appreciate its narrative, if they understand the proactive nature of what you did and what you achieved, there's a very good chance the judging panel will too.